Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeta here again today with a brand new video. We're a little bit later today because we were waiting for the patch notes for 29.0.3 that sees Paladin kind of murdered, kind of killed. There's actually a card that I think is straight up gutted as well as Odin getting nerfed and some other stuff. And well, we'll go, we actually know the specifics on it. We we do the cards, we know the changes. I do have this a little bit early, I'm recording this early. So thanks to Blizzard for that. But if you do want to check out the patch notes, they'll be live once this video is live uh, in the description down below. And if you enjoy the content on the channel and you feel like I've earned your subscription, please hit that sub button down below. Give the video a like, it helps us out a lot. And you guys have been crazy with that lately so thank you so much so yes patch 29.0.3 launches today includes the following balance changes to standard and battleground so we have the dev comment here of uh, we hope you're enjoying Wizbang's workshop so far and i'll say i have been arena and ladder i've been actually playing both what about how about that uh we've seen you experimenting with lots of new cards and archetypes across most classes and finding a few outliers this patch is mostly to weaken those outliers and offer a couple higher confidence buffs based on early data so we're gonna start off with the first nerf to our plushy friend i was hoping to go to like a 2-2 uh but yeah it's straight up getting nerfed by one mana tigress plushy will now be a four mana three two obviously the mini will remain a one mana one 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 of the best cards in paladin I just, I don't know, I never felt he's a big offender, but it's a lot of healing, and yeah, that will significantly hurt the card. I think it's still playable at four, but yeah, I'm kind of sad to see it go to three. It's got the adorable, like, meow sound. How can you nerf that card? But yeah, it's nerfed. Uh, Deputization Aura gets a much bigger hit um, going from three attack to one attack, so barely an attack buff on it anymore. Um, it still obviously works for three turns. Whatever minion is on your left side will have a life steal, but it's less burst for your rush minions, your charge minions, or whatever's on the board. Less healing overall. Um, significant. That's a third of the damage, right? Like that's a pretty huge nerf. And um, I, I wonder if this card's still good enough to see play. I, I know Cantaloupe tweeted out that at zero, he thought it would still be really good. Now we'll find out. Because at one, if it's not good enough, then I would guess at zero, it's not good enough. But yeah, very, very significant. And this is the mur this, this is murder this card. Shroomscavate. It's two mana now, but it just gives a minion divine shield. That's it. Just divine shield, excavated treasure. No wind fury. They didn't give it like a random evolve. Nothing. It just gives a minion divine shield. I'm, and again, I'm glad that Paladin doesn't have access to wind fury. That was a core problem for sure. But could they have given it something else? Like evolve it to something? It's, how is that a dual class card anymore? It's just Divine Shield. It's just a Paladin card. It really doesn't fit the feel of a dual class card whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I, I'm again, I'm happy we're getting the Divine Shield removed, but I just would have liked, I like that suggestion of like, you know, evolve and then give it Divine Shield or something. It just feels like, I don't know, feels bad and Paladin gets hit or Shaman gets hit with this too, right? So uh, overall, I'm glad it's getting changed. I just don't really love it uh, the way they went about it. Uh, dev comment here, a Paladin is the biggest power outlier since launch with lots of damage from hand and healing. We like the overall play pattern of the deck, but we're making these adjustments to tone down those two overperforming aspects of it. And yeah, you're not gonna be able to give your charge bitty wind fury at all that you cannot do that anymore and there's some less bursts in partic particular uh, with deputization aura and less healing so definitely eliminated a lot of the burst and healing uh paladin will be significantly worse but they always find a way paladin will i think will still be good but it's definitely gonna be a lot worse that that is absolutely for sure uh hunter gets hit with one nerf here awakening tremors as i thought they are no longer getting three four one worms they will get three three one worms so you still can tempo out the same way the mana distribution's all the same significantly less amount of damage right like when you took those four damage from those worms it is a lot if your class doesn't have early aoe a way to combat that it's just devastating and i still think it probably can see plate fills your in you can hand buff it but yeah uh four one just to me always felt too good i've I, every time i would face the cards like 
Why are they four ones and not three ones? It seems silly. Well, now they're three ones and maybe it'll be unplayable and then I'll answer my question of, oh, that's why they were four ones because then they, they wouldn't see play otherwise, but we'll see. Um, Hunter did need to get dialed back a tiny bit. It is one of the better classes, at least across all ranks. And this is just a card that's been out, like kind of an outlier for a long time. So I, I don't see it as a big deal. Uh, Hunter will be totally fine. They got a lot of good new cards. And yeah, that's the only major hit. Hunter is another class that is overperformed in the early meta. Tremors is a card that's been played in almost all Hunter decks for some time now and which can make for some early, really early snowballs. Shaving a little power from it should help keep other decks from falling too far behind as early as turns one and two. Uh, Thrall's Gift also updated for Nature Shaman abilities. It is losing Lightning Bolt and getting Lightning Storm. Ironically, I don't know if I call this a nerf because if I'm playing like Reno Shaman, I might play this card now because getting a Storm or a Hex feels really good. When I play this in Arena, I kept being like, man, I wish that was a Lightning Storm. Actually don't see it as a nerf. There's no dust refund on this anyways. It's a free card. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's basically so Nature Shaman has one less zero mana lightning bolt, but it's Flash of Lightning that's the problem. Stop nerfing around it. And uh, Nature Shaman is primarily a sentiment outlier with access to a lot of damage very early in the game. However, it's also expected to get a better matchup spread after the other changes being made this patch, particular Warrior. Uh, this changes change removes some of the burst damage and redundancy in the deck. We think Lightning Storm is good and another flavorful option for the gift weakening the specific deck, but buffing or offering options to other Shaman decks that weren't there before. So I think I can see Reno Shaman absolutely playing this card now. Like, I like that change, at least to someone who does not like Nature Shaman. I'm glad it hurts that deck and it makes some of the decks I like a little bit better. So that's pretty cool. Aftershocks goes from four to five mana. Odd cost. Uh, we'll, we'll know why that's important in a second. Yeah, odd cost slows down that AoE a little bit more. Not as flexible with Acolyte of Pain. Both Warrior and Shaman absolutely utilize this card. It's way too good in Warrior. Probably fair in Shaman, to be honest. But overall, yeah, it's uh, one that has kind of stood out. And yes, Odin is also odd cost. They didn't rework the card. It is just one mana more. So a lot of people are going to be like, well, who cares? It's just one mana more. It still does the exact same thing, but that's one extra turn for your opponent to kill you, to disrupt this, to, you know, just get in the way. It's significant. Will it kill the deck? Will it kill Armor Warrior? No, but putting it to nine absolutely does hurt it, especially Aftershocks going to five, and they're both odd costs. So even Warrior and Wild, unless you ETC or Odin, is basically dead. They kill that archetype, but maybe Odd Warrior can come in with uh, War or Aftershocks and Brawl and Plague of Death and Risky Skipper, uh, Acolyte of Death. We'll see if that can work out. But yeah, even Warrior sadly kind of takes a hit with that. And we got Warriors, another class that is looking very strong in the early meta, and which is likely to get even stronger after the other changes of the patch, primarily Paladin. Aftershocks combined with Acolyte of Pain, let Warrior draw too quickly through its deck for its late powerful, uh, for its late powerful late game cards. We're making these changes to make that end game a little slower and less consistent. Why not hit the, you know, the neutral card, the Acolyte of Pain that should never have been buffed in my opinion. And I don't know, th that's the part that irks me. It's like, it's too good with Acolyte of Pain. Well, that's just a neutral card that's like a Hall of Fame back in the day. Why are we nerfing Aftershocks? But overall, again, I'm fine with the changes. Odin, I think we're all pretty tired of Odin at this point and it doesn't kill him. He's still gonna be around, but maybe we see a little bit less of it. And then yeah, Zilliax, it's ticking module, goes from zero mana to zero mana. I mean, sorry, four mana to five mana. Uh, the reception to Zilliax has just been about perfection. We love uh, all the different variations people are trying, but ticking modules provo pro proving to be a bit too efficient. We hope this change will bring the Zilliax more to line with the overall power level and also encourage more continued Zilliax variety. All these cards will be av available for full dust except for the gift because it's a free card. And yeah, um, ticking module, I think will still be really good. Zilliax has plenty of other uses at C plenty of play it's one of the rare cards i always say like dust everything because you're going to recraft you can recraft it later but like zilliax is going to see play and one mana on something that comes down for zero a lot it'll certainly make a difference but zilliax is still going to be a very very good card and then we have a couple of buffs here uh sky mother aviana as i figured going from six to five mana um i was seeing some people hoping it will be like draw a card after playing it 
I will note, this is a little bit of a nerf for the card in some ways. Summer Flower Child, which like tutors your late game cards, no longer tutors this. You don't actually get it like that. So it's a buff, but like at the end of the day, will it be huge? Maybe getting those legendaries earlier, but yeah, not being able to tutor it as reliably might actually be a big, big deal. And Frost Lich Cross Stitch goes from five to four mana, but surprisingly, they nerfed the damage output on it too. Four mana deal three damage to a character if it dies, summon a three, six, one elemental that freezes. It's, I guess they're really scared to give any more burn to Sif Mage, but it's not a card I think you would play in Sif Mage, and it's three damage. Like, that's rough. I, I thought they would leave the damage alone. I think the card's probably still not good enough as a result but we will see. So yeah, um, that's all the ladder changes. I mean, I'm happy with pretty much everything. I am a little bit worried about like Warlock maybe being too good. Uh, Forge of Wills, the location in particular, kind of scares me, leaving me alone. Nature Shaman still scares me with Flash of Lightning because I just cannot stand that playstyle. Having one less bolt is something, but yeah, overall it's, we'll see. But I'm happy with the majority of the changes. There are also some bug fixes where uh, Shutter Block couldn't deal damage to the enemy hero. If played and then its effect was not consumed they fixed a bug oh they fixed the bug where warsong wrangler could buff the king crush hero skin you can't wrangle the king why not that was the coolest pay to win bug ever and fixed a bug where different versions of air elemental in core and journey on goro and up about both have three attacks so again these patch notes will be linked down below let me know what you think of the changes overall i'm excited to try things out i'll be streaming later today twitch.tv slash zeddy trying out the ladder trying out the new meta is it just could be death knight warlock stone and demon hunter demon hunter is the other one the window shopper that whole deck being left it's gonna be uh still a pretty aggressive pretty crazy meta we'll see how it plays out we'll have our day one patch review tomorrow and some deck list recommendations on saturday if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends